The nominations are often more important than the actual prize. So I also want to congratulate all of those who have been nominated. And for me, it has been one of the great privileged, moving personal journeys of my life to be associated with this prize from the very beginning and see how it has grown into a global movement. Because this is not a prize in the ordinary sense. This is a symbol of a global movement dedicated to saving the world by awarding the honorable prize in the name of the founder of the United Arab Emirates to those who are game changers in the world. People who take actions, who do things in their schools, in their business field, in their innovations and throughout their lifetime. And as Dr. Naval has just said, although the price is still young, there have been thousands of nominations over these uh, few years from every continent in the world, from Oceania, from Asia, from Africa, from Europe, from the Middle East, from the Americas. And during my presidency and international work, I have been privileged to witness many prizes. But I want to tell you, the winners here today, now this prize is unique for uh, two fundamental reasons. One is that the prize is in the name of the founder of Sheikh Zayed. And it's important for you to understand <clears throat> that the founder of Sheikh Zayed has a very honorable, emotional, profound place in the hearts of the people of the United Arab Emirates and Abu Dhabi. So to be given a prize in his name is to be honored by the people and the nation and the state of this extraordinary part uh, of the world. To some extent, it's like the Nobel Prize in its honor and in its uh, scope. And the second reason is that this is a prize <coughs> devoted to actions in the field of renewable energy, the transformation that needs to take place in every community and every country in the world. And without such actions, our children and grandchildren will not be able to enjoy the world, our planet, as we have. Every year, there has been a great increase in the nominations. So the task of those who select the winners and the task of the jury is becoming more and more difficult every year. But for us in the jury, it's also a privilege to see so many different worthy candidates from so many different parts of the world, reaching from schools in small countries and poor areas into some of the greatest companies that act, uh, act globally. And the scope and the variety and the number of the nominations in the prize indicates that we are indeed witnessing a fundamental change in the world. And we see that also here in Abu Dhabi at the World Future Energy Summit on the Sustainability Week. We saw it in the last two days of the annual assembly of ARENA. But we are witnessing a historic shift towards the success of a clean energy future. And you, the winner of the prize here today, you are the forefront of this change. By receiving the prize, you have been recognized as the historic participants and the leaders in this historic, historic transformation. So I hope when you come home in the months and the years to come, you will continue to represent the prize. And I want to say to you that with the prize does not only come the honor and the reward that follows the prize, it also comes the moral obligation and the duty to continue in years to come to represent this vision and be uh, an ambassador of that vision 
that is embodied in the past. And with those words, I congratulate you again. I hope in the coming time you will feel the personal pride that comes with it, but also this extraordinary relationship that has now been established between you, your school, your company, your field, your community, and the legacy of Sheikh Zayed. The legacy which is honored by Abu Dhabi and the rulers of the United Arab Emirates. The price is great, but you've also been given this gift of a special relationship, a unique connection between the people of Abu Dhabi and the Emirates and the legacy of Sheikh Zayed and what you do in your daily life. And in my view, that gift is in a way more important than the price itself. So wherever you go and whatever you do, I hope you carry the gift and that vision and that inspiration in your heart, in your mind, and in your mission. And with those words, I want to thank Dr. Nawal and the great community of people who work with her for how they serve the prize every day of the year, how they have worked to make it a global force for change.